Hi there, Minecrafters. Welcome to this Minecraft command block tutorial video here on the channel. And I've got something pretty cool to show you, pretty useful. I'm actually redoing a tutorial I've done before because there's a new way of doing this in the most recent version of Minecraft. So um, I'm going to be teaching you how to detect offhand items in Minecraft. So here is my normal detector I normally show in these kinds of videos. And if I place this enchanted golden apple that I have in my hand here, if I place this in the shield slot or the offhand slot in the inventory, you'll see that now the detector has now activated because this detector is seeing if I have an enchanted golden apple in my offhand slot. So if I now remove this golden apple, the detector has now deactivated. So that is what I'm going to be showing you. In Minecraft 1.21.5 on the Java edition, which we're in right now, they changed how you actually check this data, especially in the offhand slot, because the offhand slot in Minecraft is kind of its own separate slot. It's kind of separate from the main inventory, I guess you could say. Now, what you do now is you check an equipment tag on the player, and there's an offhand slot you check for the item data you want to check. So that is how we're getting this to work. Now, very briefly here, this is a dynamic detector. So it turns off when it needs to and turns on when it needs to. So how we've got this to work is we've got two command blocks here, a repeating and a chain command block, both flowing into each other, and they both have always active set as well. The first command block sets an air block above the detector. And the reason why we've done that is it allows the detector to reset itself very easily and allows it to be dynamic. This command block here, the chain command block, does the magic and actually checks the required data and that sort of thing. So if the condition is not met, there'll just be an air block above this detector. If the condition is met, then a lit roadstone lamp will be placed instead. So that is how we actually have a dynamic detector here. But the main point of this tutorial is to show you how to check the data in the first place on the player. Now, before we get to the commands, I just want to quickly show you how you can find out item IDs in the game very easily because you do need an item ID to get this command to work so that it knows what kind of item it should look out for. Now, if you use F3 and H on your keyboard, you can make sure your advanced tooltips are shown. And when you do this and hover over items in your inventory or in the creative menu, in gray, it should have the item ID that you require. So we have Minecraft colon redstone for redstone dust, and we have Minecraft colon string for string and so on. Minecraft colon lightning rod and so on. So that gives you all the item IDs you need for all of the commands you want to do and the command in this video. So without further ado here, I'm going to show you this command or the commands we're looking at in this video in a text editor so I can show you them in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here. And these are the two commands we're going to be going through. I would urge you to watch this part so you get to understand what's going on. And I will put these commands in the description of the video as well. But um, the first command is pretty straightforward. This just sets an air block on the detector. In all of these commands, we're using relative coordinates, which are correct for me. You may have to tweak them a little so it's correct for your particular case. But this just sets the air block on the detector pretty straightforward. This is the main command, though, actually us checking the player data. So we're using an execute if entity command because we're targeting a particular entity. And in this case, we're looking at the nearest player at P. Now, in the square brackets, we are checking MBT. So we're checking data tags on that player. And this is where we're checking the equipment tag with the offhand data and in the offhand slot we are checking here there should be some item data so there's an id here where you put the minecraft item id and then there's also a count as well so in this case i'm just doing a count of one but you could do a whole stack if you wanted to 64 and so on you can have any count 
in there so long as it does not exceed 64. So that is that. And if you want, you could make this more advanced by adding components and various things to the item. But I'm just showing you the simplest case of checking a particular item and a particular item type. So once it has found the nearest player with the offhand item there, it will then run a set block command and set the lit redstone lamp on the detector. So that is how you check the data and hopefully you find this useful for any creative projects or custom maps or whatever you're actually doing in Minecraft. All right, everyone, that's about it for this tutorial. If you want to follow my socials, they are on screen and in the description. If there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. But uh, anyway, take care, everyone. Hope you have a nice day. See you in the next video. And hopefully I'll be able to do some more tutorials and command block tutorials soon. Take care. Bye bye.